If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, Cardano family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin video. Got these videos every day. You don't want to miss them. Got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. And we have a Cardano dev. They got properly reproduced the bug that was in 1.35.2 that caused issues for the test net on the SPO DevNet going on right now. As of now, it does seem like 1.34.1 and 1.34, 1.35.3 behave as expected in terms of smart contract usage. Everything is looking good. Nice. Now that knows that run on 1.34.1 and 1.35.3 will not include incorrect transactions into the chain if a bad node 1.35.2 submits it. The 1.35.2 actually ends up just holding the transaction in their local meme pool. All the other nodes just pass it. Submitting this transaction on a good node fails as expected. It seems the problem seems to be triggered by the 1.35.2 allowing build raw to produce a valid transaction with very low fees. The difference is that almost 15,000 love laces from my test scripts. Glad to see, glad it seems to be fixed and that if we tested it, it was actually fixed. There's a lot more testing to be done, but at least the weird fee bug is, well, at least it appears to be fixed. This is a great start. I feel more confident. So they fixed a bug on the test net. People were freaking out about this. And apparently some YouTubers had apologized because they made more of a big deal of it than they actually was. If somebody had commented in my comment section, oh, you should apologize for use ca catastrophic. Well, if you just watch the video instead of reading the title, <laughs> you would have known that I said that this bug was not a big deal and that they're going to get it fixed and that it's a test net. A test net is supposed to be broken. Okay, if you're not breaking the test net, what are you doing? Okay, you break the test net so you don't break the main net. Duh, but people don't watch videos anymore. They just read titles, and it's a shame. But that's okay, because people who just, you know, read the title and don't even watch the video and then comment down below, um, you're just showing your true colors. That's it. So I'm not going to apologize, because if you watch the video, I said nothing wrong. <laughs> I literally told everybody to chill the hell out. Everything's fine, like I normally do. So, um, yeah, watch the video next time, guys, before you comment down below. Don't just look at titles. It, it, it'd be good for your health. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on. Thank you, OneCom, ticker symbol one C-O-M-M, guys. Do all the things the algorithm likes. And also, please consider delegating your crypto to OneCom, ticker symbol one C-O-M-M. Follow them on Twitter for Cardano news and notes. Serve for set fees until at least the end of December 2022 for all existing and new delegators. They produce blocks each and every epoch. So you know you're getting those sweet, sweet ADA rewards. Thank you to OneCom. Let's go ahead and move on. This is actually pretty interesting. So we know that Cardano is getting into lobbying. Okay, there is a uh, midterm coming up in November, and uh, this is actually pretty cool. So a candidate in Utah, her name is, their name, I don't want to misgender anybody nowadays, their name is uh, uh, January Walker, and they have decided to fund their campaign by selling NFTs created on the Cardano blockchain. So we're a little bit late for this uh, uh this NFT drop here, it, it launched on 8.13, so we're a little bit late. I don't know if all the NFTs have been sold out, but uh, if I raise it by selling NFTs begin on August 13th, it is not known yet how much has been raised so far. Four different NFTs have been minted, yarn side, pin button, coin, and flag, ranging from 89 ADA to 5,000 ADA. 
Walker's campaigning precisely on promises related to blockchain, so much so that the site where the NFTs are so explicitly mentions cryptocurrency, blockchain, and Web3. I think this could be a good thing for the uh, for the Utah citizens. Um, I hear they have relatively low taxes, but um, not a whole lot of fun in that state. <laughs> I think they even have, like, if I'm not mistaken, please uh, forgive me and correct me in the comment section below, but I think they have dry counties. Like, on Sunday, you can't buy beer or booze or something like that. I lived in a town like that in Florida and in Georgia where they literally have dry counties where like at a certain day like sunday you cannot buy booze so yeah they're they're a little bit you know i don't even know what the word is over there utah but uh this could definitely help uh how far areas will be done in the future and attracting eyes from other politicians so cool picking seeing people pick up the yard site nfts and showing them off irl it's not known how many actual chances she may have of being elected by running in the ranks of the United Utah Party. She may have a few, seeing that those generally elected are representatives of the two major party, Democrat and Republican. And we will start to see more fundraising like this as more and more people get comfortable with NFTs and with digital currencies. We're starting to see that soon. So I wouldn't be surprised if the next presidential candidate, whether it be Trump, Biden, I don't know, Beto York, is he going to run again for the Democrats? I have no idea if they don't start launching their own NFTs and their own crypto uh, uh, donation services. So this is actually pretty cool. I hope she wins. I don't even know her politics. Hopefully it's low taxes and personal freedom. And uh, let's go ahead and move on. And finally, guys, we got some big news from Muesli Swap, the first Dex on Cardano, if you did not forget. Muesli World is growing bigger and better. We were excited to share you that we are working on Muesli Lending. It's the first phase that, recruit, that will include a bond market Dex, trading of NFT loan bonds. Stay tuned for more information about the test debt. The next phases will envision Muesli Lending with a lending aggregator, Muesli Swap lending protocol, who doesn't love a good aggregator? We're excited that our Muesli ecosystem is growing. Stay tuned for exciting news. Now, this is actually pretty cool. Obviously, I have to say this because people are not the smartest. Not saying you guys aren't the smartest. You guys are amazing. But some new people might not be too well versed. And they're going to hear this and say, oh, I'm going to dump all my money into this. Don't do it for the love of God. Please do your research. <laughs> like before you dump all your money in there all right but this is pretty cool i can't wait we need more lending and borrowing in a decentralized manner definitely um this is a good first step so is if they have more information i will pass it along to you guys i love you guys i gotta run <clears throat> don't let your means be dreams i will talk to you guys soon with the v chain and cardano updates have an amazing day and i'll talk to you soon goodbye Guys, thank you so much for enjoying another Boomin' video. I want to give a special shout out to our wonderful Patreon subscribers, Maryland for Crypto, American Home Remedies.com, Fruz Den, Kyle Bachi, CryptoSVT.SI, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson the Second, Kragan, Allflail LLC, and Lucky Sunshine Token. Thank you again, guys, for your wonderful support. I really, really appreciate it, and I do these for you. Keep chopping wood, guys. We are all going to make it. Have an amazing day.